Welcome back. This is Watertown 365. We are smack dab in the middle of summertime. We are winding down as far as back to school season coming up soon. And we have a lot of things to talk about in the Watertown area. There is a free family movie night. There are new COVID guidelines. I mean, when are there ever not COVID guidelines? There is information about a 9-11 remembrance ceremony. There's uh, a, an unattended campfire that happened in Old Watertown, which you may want to know all about. Uh, all that and more. This is Watertown 365, and we are going to be telling you what you need to know. So let's get to it. Let's talk about some news. Uh, and so first up, as reported by WWNY TV, Channel 7 News, New York's news leader, the Watertown American Legion is looking for volunteers for the 9-11 Remembrance Ceremony. So uh, we're always all about uh, new ways of you getting outside the house, which is to do something different than just going to dinner or going to the movies. So here's something that could get you uh, out of the house. Let's get the video pulled up for the background, and we will be talking about this. The Watertown American Legion will be hosting a remembrance ceremony about the 20th anniversary of those 9-11 attacks. It will be happening on Sterling Street. And so here's where you come in. Here's what they need. They need 70 volunteers who will read the names of first responders, EMTs, and police officers who were lost in the World Trade Center attacks. This list includes... 10th Mountain Division soldiers who gave the ultimate sacrifice. And this is an opportunity for you personally, as a citizen of Watertown, to show the world that you love our freedom, that we love our freedom, and we stand firm in external threats to that freedom. And so, uh, so what's also happening is that they are looking for local businesses, groups, organizations, and individuals to be nominated to read names. So you can, in fact, nominate someone else who you think uh, is, is worthy enough to be reading off these names. And so what? Uh, so there's an email address, which is adjutant61 at outlook.com. You must send that in by September 5th if you want to nominate someone in this local area, a uh, public figure, teacher, someone like that, who you are like, you know, former military, someone like that, who you think would enjoy the opportunity to be reading off some of these names. And uh, here's also a little bit of a bonus news story in here is that the Watertown American Legion is hosting Watertown Project 3000. And their goal here is for residents to donate 3,000 items of non-perishable food items for the CPAC food pantry in memory of the nearly 3,000 lives lost on 9-11. So that's, that's interesting and that's thoughtful and that's uh, symbolic, right? And so they will begin accepting donations from September 5th to the 11th, so basically the week leading up to 9-11 uh, at Sterling Street and at the VFW post on Bellew Avenue. Uh, and so that is the, um, the, the local American Legion and VFW. So let's also, let's next turn our attention to the news story of turning an old building into a homeless shelter and can it be done? Is it possible? Let's see what this is all about. So on Wednesday, a Watertown property owner said that he would be willing to donate the Globe Mini Mall to the Watertown Urban Mission to help house homeless people in the area. And uh, so this site, I'm, I'm assuming they will bring it up in a moment here, it's mostly empty uh, and it's a 30,000 square foot building. And uh, so it's, it's an offer, it's a thing that's, as you can see, it's kind of falling apart. There's paint chipping on different sides. Uh, there's broken windows, there's weather getting in, there's walls peeling. So it's it's a good idea, but it's also not that simple uh, because there's a lot of, you know, red tape and things like that. And so uh, what's happening is that the, the Jefferson County Board uh, says that the county is in need of a homeless shelters, especially after some of the examples that uh, we've been seeing the past few weeks. Like if you recall, there was the, the electrical... Uh, problem with the the condemned building where a lot of people who lived in the kind of low-income apartment were put out on the street living in tents. So there is a need 
for a, a homeless shelter. And so, uh, and the other thing too about Jefferson County is that we received $2.9 million from the American Rescue Plan. And some of that money could go to ho helping homeless people, but it's a matter of what's the right thing to do, what, what's doable, what can be done in a timely fashion, what's a good use of that money, and what's a waste of that money. So that is one of those developing situations. So if you have heard about this building, if you've seen about this building, uh, that would be interesting to know your opinion of, uh, can this building be fixed up? Can this be a bright and shiny new homeless shelter to help out those people who are bet in between places to stay? And, and speaking of uh, in, being in between places to stay, there was an unattended campfire, which uh, that's an unfortunate uh, problem when, uh, you know, when, when people are, are ha don't have a place to stay for the night. And so what happened was early Wednesday morning, the city firefighters of Watertown were called over to Mill Street because smoke had been spotted coming up the riverbank. It came from a very steep embankment where an old industrial facility sits. And... Uh, so what happened was that there was smoke coming from inside of this old industrial facility. And so here's, here's, the, here's the firefighters on the scene and what's happening. There were slices of pizza, there were needles, there were bags of clothing. And uh, so, so yeah, look, look at what happened there. And so it could have uh, happened all the way down the river. And uh, so, yeah, just... One of those, just not, not much else to say about that, but there was this, uh, this fire that broke out, and it's one of those things where when, something, when some kind of an incident like this happens, they say, well, should that be torn down, or what should be done if, you know, if, if these kinds of fires are, are breaking out there, or if people can easily access them if they're you know, not secured, if they're not fenced off, if they're not sealed up, things like that. So uh, just one of those you know, small town ha happenings of this old mill uh, foundation. Some people were having a, having a party of some kind and ha let this fire get out of the way. So we've, we've, we've covered some of the, the incidents, you could say, that have been happening around town this week. But now let's get to something that, that you could be doing. The Navy Federal Credit Union, they have invited you, you personally, to attend the upcoming movie night. And this is happening on uh, Saturday, August 21st. So what is this all about? Well, this is a family-friendly free event sponsored by the credit union. And we'll try to see if we can find, like a new source straight from the horse's mouth. So here's the event bright page. And so this is sponsored by the Navy Federal Credit Union. They will be donating $5,000 to the Camaraderie of Courage, which is a local nonprofit. And their mission is to serve military service members and their families. So this is pretty cool, right? It's a, a family movie night. Now, I wonder if they will say what movie they will screen or if you just have to show up at, at Thompson Park at, at the very top field. You show up on Saturday, August 21st. So they will be showing some Disney movies, The Last Dragon and Raya. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but they say, bring your blankets, bring your beach chairs, relax under the stars. If you get there early, if you get the pre-movie time, there is music, there are free balloon twisters, inflatable games, and giveaways by that credit union, but no alcoholic beverages, practice proper social distancing, be there, be square, the historic Thompson Park, Watertown, New York, Saturday, August 21st, uh, the fun begins. They Not only does the activity begin, but the fun itself begins at 6.30 p.m. And then, so you get there at 6.30, get set up, and get warmed up. And then at, uh, at dark is when the movie begins. And I stand corrected. It's not two movies, it's one. It's Raya and the Last Dragon. Uh, apparently, I don't know Disney movies at all. So Raya and the Last Dragon, uh, kind of a fun 
thing to do with the family, with the kids. What else are you gonna do on a Saturday night? Do you really have uh, such action-packed, exciting plans that you are too good for the movie in the park at the historic Thompson Park, and we will see you there. And after you enjoy your weekend, after you uh, see that movie in the park, which by the way, the movie begins around 820, then let's talk about moving forward. Let's talk about the fall sports season. And it seems like Channel 7 News just has all the great news stories and we, we love them so much. And so they are reporting that the Watertown Cyclones are starting the fall season on time. That's good news, right? All of last year, all of 2020, it was kind of a bummer, it's kind of a downer when this sport was canceled and this wasn't happening. Well, guess what? Good news. They are being careful. COVID is still a topic of conversation, uh, but Watertown, just like the other local school districts, they will be keeping a close eye on these protocols. But right now, the only specific guideline is that there are temperature checks uh, that will be done at practices and before games for the athletes. Uh, because the idea is hopefully with social distancing, masks, and the vaccine, uh, plus you add temperature checks in the mix, you, you're hoping that you, we can still kind of split the difference and we can manage whatever the state of the pandemic is, plus have the usual school sports activities. The New York State Public High School Athletic Association and the State Department of Health have left the guidelines up to the local jurisdiction and the local school districts. So hoping that that means that the things are okay for us moving forward. And uh, so speaking of just keeping a close eye on things, let's talk about COVID-19. I know it, we, we've been hearing nothing about it or, uh, for, for all these last few weeks, uh, but now it's always a worry that it will, uh, you know, uh, start up again. So here's what's happening with COVID-19 in Jefferson and Lewis counties. Since Tuesday, another 19 new cases. And if you're like me, I'm not even exactly sure if 19 is good or if it's bad. I suppose anything larger than zero is bad, but at least it's not hundreds of cases. But let's see what's happening. So three people hospitalized and there have been 7,500 cases in Jefferson County, 7,300 recovered. And in Lewis County, five new cases since Tuesday, two people hospitalized with the virus. Uh, and so, yeah, just something to keep an eye on. We don't have a, a, a flood of news, just that it's slowly creeping its way back and it is a thing that is still out there. So good to be informed than to be ignorant of the facts. And so two uh, businesses that you absolutely do need to be informed about are Diamond Storage and True Cut Tree Service. So let's talk about both of those very excellent uh, establishments in the Watertown area. Uh, diamond storage. Now, whether you're looking for a self storage unit to store your valuable belongings or managing logistics for your business, diamond storage is your complete resource for home or business self storage in Watertown. Look at these beautiful hallways. Look at this secure facility. Look at this very clean setup. Look at this out of the way uh, area where you can even use their convenient kiosk to rent or pay just like you're using an ATM machine. How convenient is that? And so Diamond Storage has built the, their business around making sure they have fixed the typical problems that come with, with self-storage. And I mean, look at that. How uh, convenient is that to have that kiosk right there? They have a 100% customer satisfaction guarantee and uh, so the way to find them, to get to them, is you can go to diamondstorage.us and they even have the ability where you can get started today online. You can get, you can pay your bill online. They have free rent specials. Check this out with a one month free, free lock, free dust cover. They have deployment specials if you're in the military they have a free truck special and we won't dig into any of those right now because these things could change any of these specials that they have online could just go away poof at any given moment so the place to go is diamondstorage.us they offer 24-hour access rentals and payments through their on-site kiosk 
uh, very valuable, especially if you need to put some things in storage. And, and we've all been at that point in life when we ran out of space, when we had to move, or uh, you, you know whatever happens, you, ha you might have to just store some things in a different location. Look no further than diamondstorage.us. And also, when you're dealing with the, the weather issues, forces of nature, acts of God, whatever you want to call it, whether the weather took you down, or if your tree is old and dying, or you just want to see more of your own yard, True Cut Tree Service can remove any unwanted trees efficiently and effectively. We've previously looked at their website, truecuttreeservices.com. Let's look at their Yelp page. This is new, this is different. So their Yelp page is blank, and that's why they need your help. True Cut Tree Service needs you if you are currently using them, if you have a tree emergency, a tree need. Here's an idea for you personally, and this is just coming from, from me. Uh, this is just an idea to put in your head. What if you used the services of Tree Cut Tree Services and then maybe uh, took out your cell phone and snapped a couple of pictures of their machinery at work or the professional uh, quick but safe job they're doing and take a couple of pictures and go to their Yelp page and be the first person to leave a review. In, in my own opinion, you will be a town hero. And maybe in no one else's opinion, but I will personally believe that you are a hero for using Tree Cut Tree Services and then being their very first Yelp review and to help them out and to let everyone else know, especially when it gets closer to the, the winter time and who knows what kind of storms or you know the snow or whatever happens, uh, someone else might need your recommendation. And so the place is True Cut Tree Service. They are a tree trimming and removal service. 315-836-4828. They provide professional tree trimming. They have the equipment to deal with 24-hour emergency tree removal. We're talking about things that happen from winter blizzards, from ice storms, from microbursts, True Cut Tree Service, TCTS as no one calls them, but I chose to just call them that for short right now, True Cut Tree Service. They have seen it all. They are located over on Reasoner Road. So check them out, go to their website, give them a call, get a free online quote, and use Tree Cut Tree Service for stump removal, tree removal, tree trimming, and so much more. And while you are looking at the, the things that keep you busy, the, the solutions to your problems, then let's head on over as we wrap things up today to Watertown 365. Uh, where apparently there is a uh, a, a gluten-free lap dance. So that's kind of interesting, kind of the lighter side of the news. There is uh, some information about Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, who is replacing uh, Governor Newsom, who has stepped down. There are things to find out about the Small Business Emergency Relief Program. So all of the interesting news stories and even some of the state level stories and look at this international stories. There's information about things happening in Afghanistan. There's things happening over in good old New Jersey. There is a, a tropical storm heading over to the Florida Panhandle. So even some uh, things that are happening that might not even be uh, happening right here in town, you can find out about so many news stories at watertown365.com. And we are located on Facebook at facebook.com slash watertown365 because as you know, the internet's all about this two-way street where if there is this $2,000 per year baby bond by Democrat where you can sign up here and find out about this, well then maybe jump in and uh, and tell us your thoughts. If you like that, if you don't like that, if you wanna leave a comment, if you wanna start an argument, isn't that kind of what the internet's about? So facebook.com slash watertown365 where you can uh, check out our, our funny memes that we post, our funny facts and our news. So those are the two places to go. It's facebook.com slash watertown365 and watertown365.com. We will see you there and thank you for being on this journey with me. We'll be back next week to give you some more news uh, and I'm sure that the, inter the internet and the world will be completely in chaos as it always is, but because you and me are here together talking about this, we can get through it and we can find out about those, uh, you know, some 
consequential, some inconsequential events happening all around town and all around the Watertown area. Watertown 365. Bye for now.